Hey guys, Sheehan Graham here. I've got Daisy by Bree helping me out. I'm going to go through some of the counter combos. So this is a great way for people to disrupt the flow. Inspiring a lot of people talk to me about how do you stop somebody once they've got momentum. So these are a couple of things that have really worked for me over the years. So if I get Bree to basically start with a left and a right punch. So left and right. Now you would have seen me in times in the videos gone by or if it's brand new for you this time. I'm basically going to use my hand of forearm block, but from there, off the lead jab, I'm going to come over the top. It's like an overhand right. For those who train with us, number nine basically is this combination. So from there, before she has time to throw the other, it disrupts, comes over, upper, and round kick. Obviously, what I need to do is I need to have it in my head that that's what I'm going to do. So there's no point in trying to, as they throw it, kind of react when there's another one coming pretty quickly down the pipe. So again, as Bree throws, I need to be able to go straight from there, up, and round kick of some sort. Again, your choice of where you aim and where it goes. So that's mainly disrupting straight off that jab. Second one I want to show you is when you don't have the ability to do that and you're getting bombarded. So as Bree's throwing a whole lot of shots towards me, and I'm covering out, she's pretty much postured to really uh, you know, be effective with her shots. I'm not that good here. If I pop my head up, I'm going to get caught. So to help me out, I'm going to disrupt my inner leg kick. So from here, inner, straight into an uppercut, then a hook of some sort, and finish, because I'm quite close, with a knee or a right round kick. So the variations there are up to you guys to figure it out. So again, the most important part to disrupt breathe from firing quickly is here, covering in leg, straight into that shot. Because the inner leg's only going to buy a little bit of time. From there, one, two, again, depending on area where you're going to throw, that left hook, finish with some sort of short shot if need be, or if they move, you've got your round kick. So one more time quickly so you can see, getting bombarded, inner, up, hook, and kick. Now the third one is, I'll swap this one over, this is more of a, uh, from a push kick. Now, either side it really doesn't matter. I like to do forearm block and uni block are both very effective. Depending on which one goes for you, the same movements are applicable. So Bree's gonna do a push kick. If I do use my universal block, I'm gonna use the same momentum to come over. So again, slowly, block, over. And you'll see that that just flows straight through. Again, I'm being mindful that I don't want to hurt my partner, really let this fly. So over, up, and from there, round kick. You'll see there's a few of these patterns that work very similar together depending on you as a person. You don't always have to have different skills, but again, show you slowly one more time. This time from the forearm block, push kick, block, same thing, over. Up and round kick of some sort. Now, yeah, you can mix it up. You see, I'm pretty much using more, more so the right side, but left side works well. It's all about flowing. And again, counter, oh, upper kick works very well and uh, very effective. So, there's three in this video for you guys, more about countering and disrupting their patterns. Uh, and I'll talk to you in the next video.